Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Ahmad Afra Rashid. Two for one committee of the parliament has ordered a summons for Police Commissioner Ahmad Fasi and Chief of Defence Force Musa Ali Jalil. They are to face questions from the parliamentarians regarding the arrests made during the political turmoil following the resignation of the cabinet. Three opposition members, Abdullah Yamin, Qasim Ibrahim and Ahmad Nazim, the Vice Speaker of the Parliament, were arrested during the period on allegations of corruption and unconstitutional attempts to oust the government. The 241 Committee of the Parliament is seated by four members from MDP and five members from Opposition Coalition. Abdul Yamin and Ghazim, who were arrested during the political turmoil, are also members of the committee. Members Police Commissioner Fasih and Chief Defence Force Jalil both objected to attend the committee hearing during periods times when they were summoned. They were given seven days' notice prior, prior to giving them to give them the schedule for the committee hearing. Another stabbing in the capital, Male, injures an 18-year-old. He was attacked around 11.45 last night. Police Police Service informed that the man was attacked with a knife on his back and was treated for three cuts. He was discharged from hospital today. One man is under police custody in connection of this attack. A 16-year-old boy was stabbed on Thursday night and was treated in the ICU of Indira Gandhi Memorial Hospital. Following the recent gang violence and stabbing in Mali, Parliament last week passed an act on gang violence, gang-related violence and another attack on another on possession of weapons. According to this act, possession of dangerous weapons is a crime with a 6 to 12 months jail, 12 jail, months jail term. Praxa HTC is to open the second phase of Coralville housing project earlier than scheduled before. Coralville is a housing project developed in Hulmale by a joint company created by Housing Development Corporation. The housing units developed under the first phase of this project was opened for booking in May 2010. Coralville sales office informed that the 178 housing units that were opened are now fully booked. The construction work of the first phase of the project is underway. This project is worth 10 million US dollars. A short break, we now we will return 